everybody, my name is Avery from Frostbite, and today we are going to be going over how to make a Java plugin for Minecraft. So, right now, let me describe what we're going to be doing in these videos. So first, I'll be showing you how to set up Eclipse and set up your Minecraft, not your Minecraft, your plugin main class. Then I'll show you how to create some simple plugins and after that I'll show you some intermediate plugins after that I'll show you some hard hard plugins but what you'll need for this for making these plugins is a little bit of background knowledge in Java and yeah that's really all you need you'll also need a computer and <laughs> the mindset to do it. <laughs> so let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need an IDE, which mostly is where you create your plugin in. So for what I use is I use Eclipse. So right now you can go to www.eclipse.org. It's also in the description and you'll get to this page. So right when you get there, you're going to want to click downloads on the top nav bar. And then once you get to the downloads page, you can download any Eclipse version you want. But I would recommend just the standard Eclipse version. Um, you don't need any advanced features for Minecraft plugins. So once you have done that, you can go to the where you download the bucket.jar which is mostly the libraries needed to create a Minecraft plugin. So where this will be located is at dl.bucket.org slash download slash bucket. You can also look in the descriptions and find it. So once you get to this page, on the right side, you'll see there is these boxes called recommended build, beta build, and development build. So what we're going to be using is the development build which is the newest version which you can use yeah <laughs> the newest version you can use the beta build is like the newest safest version and the recommended build is what they recommend you to use so download the development build it really doesn't matter which one you do and once you've done that you can open up Eclipse and it will sort of look like this it'll actually look like that but I don't like this bottom bar thing so I usually right on the bottom you'll see this line thing in my jiggy now when you hover over it, it'll say minimize just click that if you want it there you can keep it there of course but once you get into Eclipse you're gonna wanna create a new project so what we're going to do is right click inside the package explorer, so right click and then you'll see this new navigation bar thing, I don't know what I'd call that, but we'll just call it notification place and it'll say new, you hover over new and then go click on java project. I'm going to call this java project. Um, YouTube project and then you go to the bottom and click finish so I already imported the bucket.jar for the sake of time but for you how you do it is that you right click on YouTube project then click on properties and then on the left nav bar click on Java build path then on the right do add external jar then go to where you place your bucket dot jar and click on it and then on the bottom corner it will say open and you click that and hopefully it will look like this I'm using a slight later version but it doesn't really matter unless it's a whole minecraft version back so if I had 1.5 instead of 1.6 then I would be get I wouldn't be able to have horses 
um, any of the new items in the 1.6 update. I didn't really stay in tune for that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to have to create a new package. And a package is where we store all of our classes. So, there's two ways to create a new package. Actually, three ways. The first way is to, inside the package explorer, right click and do new package. And then the other way is to do file in the top left corner, new uh, package. But my favorite way is right here under the, these, uh, I don't know what to call these, this bar. I don't think it's a navigation bar, it might be. Right under this bar, you'll see all these little buttons. And there will be a button that kind of looks like a box with lines through it. You're going to want to click on that. And if you hover over it, it'll say new Java package. So you click on that. And it will say create a new Java package. And then it's a Java package above it. So your source folder should hopefully be in your um, Java project inside the SRC folder. The name of it should be me dot your name. So I want to put my Minecraft name. Then after that, you're going to do another dot and you're going to do the name of your plugin. So I'm going to do YouTube project. It doesn't have to be like this, but I highly su suggest doing it this way. So after this, we're going to do, we're going to create a new class which can be made in mostly all the same ways as creating a new package. You can do the file and create a new class. You can right click the package explorer and do a new class. And you can click this new class I button icon thing in the jiggy right next to the new package. It looks like a green C. So we'll click on that and we'll create a new class. And inside this class, we're going to make all the code for the plugin. So we're going to name this class uh, YouTube Project and click enter. So right now you've created your first class, we've created the package, we've created the Java project, we've imported the bucket.jar library. So right now all we have to do is create the plugin using Java. So Right now I'm going to show you how to um, kind of create the basics. I'm not going to go into actually creating anything that really happens in Minecraft. I'm just going to put, I'm going to show you what you have to do in every single time you make a plugin. Yeah. So right here where it says public class YouTube project, you're going to right next to it on the right side, you're going to click. You're going to, not click, you're going to write extends Java plugin. Because every Minecraft plugin extends Java plugin. So right now you're going to see Java plugin and it's going to be underlined red. And you're going to think, oh no, I did something wrong. Well, you didn't. You're actually on the way to creating the plugin. That sounds kind of cheesy. But anyways... There's two ways to get rid of this um, underlined red thing. You can, one, hover over it, and it will come out, come up with a resolve window thingamajiggy. <laughs> and it will give you options on what you can do to resolve this error. So right now what it wants us to do is import Java plugin. That's what we can do. But then if you knew that you have to import this Java plugin, you could manually import it by typing out import org.bucket.plugin.java.java .java .java plugin. But we don't want to do that because it takes up time. So right now, we have extended our YouTube project by, from, by Java plugin, and we're about to set up our logger. What the logger does is that it sends a message to the console inside of Minecraft. The console is kind of the messages that a Minecraft server gets when you start it up 
and whenever something interacts with it. Yeah, that's mostly it. So right now we're gonna do logger logger equals logger dot get logger then inside these brackets and inside the quotation marks so we're gonna do minecraft so what this is doing is that it's creating a new logger named logger and this making it equal to the logger dot get logger minecraft which is kind of getting the console you could say so we're gonna declare this logger as private because we don't want other people getting to hmm, how do I say this we don't want other classes in this plugin to directly access this logger we'd l rather get um, a getter and setter method to be able to chain to send to the console so right in front of this first logger we're gonna do private and that's gonna make the logger private so right now we're gonna create a send method that sends to the console the message you want to have so right now we're gonna do public which makes this method public then void the return type send console the name then inside the parameters which are these uh, just normal brackets we're gonna do string which is defining the type of the parameter then message so what this is basically doing is defining message as a string so inside this method we're gonna have to access the logger so how we do with this is that we do this which is basically talking to this class then this dot logger which is calling the logger then dot info which basically sends the message to the console and inside here we're gonna do in quotation marks we're gonna do this these brackets yeah these are brackets these brackets and then uh, YouTube space project and then after the quotation marks we'll do plus then message which mostly means that it will get what's ever inside of here and whatever the string is has is gonna be sent out here to the console so right now we're gonna do the what's gonna happen when the plugin is enabled so we're gonna do public creating a public again void on enable then no parameters and yeah then we're gonna do another one where it's gonna be public void on disable no parameters and opening bracket space and close the bracket so that's the video right now the next video is going to be on how to send simple messages and maybe another thing i don't know i haven't decided yet thanks for watching stay tuned on these videos and yeah have a nice day